what's up it's bella welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're brand new i'm super excited for this video in today's video i did a very natural makeup look this is what i do on like an everyday basis if i do wear makeup i kept it super simple anybody can do this whether you're a beginner you're a lead at makeup really anybody can do it if you're excited for this video be sure to give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe and click the bell and follow my social medias which are up here and i will link all these products in the description box for you guys to shop just click on it it'll take you right to the website and you can purchase if you want to i love you guys so much and let's go ahead and get started okay so i have a bare face right now i'm gonna start by moisturizing and doing my eye cream i use the ola henderson c rush brightening gel creme and i'm just going to put a little little bit of this like this much on my face yes this makes my face a little red because my face is sensitive and when I touch it it turns red so it'll go away in a minute and then now I'm gonna put the eye cream on I'm sure you guys can see my body is a lot more tan than my face because I went to the beach. So that's why my face might look a little bit more pale. I always start my makeup by doing my brows. So I'm going to use the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil in the shade 4. It's the only brow pencil I ever use. It's my all-time favorite. Next thing I'm going to do is curl my lashes. I use the Surratt Beauty Lash Curler. I've been using it for I think over a year. It really does curl your lashes and it makes them literally like stay all day curled. They don't ever like come down or anything like they literally it's insane like it's the best lash curler ever it's totally worth $30 like it it's the best absolutely nothing compares for mascara I'm gonna use the Glossier Lash Slick as like the first coat look at that it's crazy and then to build it up a little because I want a little bit more like crazy lashes I'm gonna use the Too Faced one this is the one that I'm gonna use from Too Faced just a little small coat of it I love the way these mascaras look together my lashes look so big I can't be the only one that tries to put their mascara wand back in and then always slips and gets on my finger like I feel like I'm not the only one that happens to it will come off now okay so moving on to the face I'm gonna use the benefit professional hydrating primer I like to keep it simple but I also like to do steps that are gonna be long-lasting I just put this in my t-zone next up I'm gonna take my Glossier perfecting skin tint in the shade g6 with my beauty blender and I'm gonna put it on the butt of it and then start to blend it in I just do a really small layer Now I'm going to take the Becca Light Shifter Brightening Concealer. This is in the shade 3. I'm just going to put a little bit under my eyes. Now I'm going to take the Glossier Wilder in the shade Medium. Well, it's called G8 to G10, but it's for medium skin tone. I'm going to use my powder brush from this silver set. It's the F1. These will be linked down below as well. Use code Gloria for 10% off. I'm going to tap in here and pat this all over my face. Now I'm going to take the cloud paint in the shade Puff. This is also from Glossier. I'm going to put some on the back of my hand, pat it on, and then tap it out. This is like one of the only cream products that I can actually put on my face over powder because it looks good and like doesn't make it look bad. I'm going to take the F14 from the Starry Nights collection and go into this palette from Benefit. I'm going to go into Hoola and just kind of add a little bit of warmth to my face. For some powder blush, I'm going to go into the same palette. I'm going to use my F4 from the silver set. And I'm going to go into Sugar Bomb and mix them all together and put this on my face. Right above the blush. For highlight, I'm going to go into my Omrezy Anastasia highlighter. The brush I'm going to use is the E11 from the Starry Nights collection. I'm going to go in here. Today, I want more of like a champagne kind of gold highlight. And the cookie one is a little bit too light for my skin tone right now. So that's why I'm using this one. And with the same highlighter, I'm going to go into this Morphe brush. I don't know what brush this is, but I'm going to use this for my nose. And for the inner corners of my eyes. Okay, I'm going back into my Glossier Lash Slick for my lower lash line. For lips, I'm just using the Fenty Beauty Fenty Glow Gloss. And then to set all that, I'm going to use both of these sprays combined. Just kidding, this one just ran out. Ugh. Good thing I have a backup. It's my favorite spray. I always keep a backup. Okay. 
Okay guys, that is it for this makeup tutorial. This is what I do on a basis where I want a little bit of makeup, but not too much. I do like to keep it simple and glowy and very natural, but also, you know, enough to make me feel good and feel like I can, you know, do stuff without my skin like changing colors because of like rosacea or things like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I absolutely love doing tutorials and it was a blast. I will link all these products down below for you guys to purchase if you guys are interested. I want to know down below what your everyday makeup consists of. Like what do you use and what are your steps and things like that. I recently just did like a go-to glam and I will link that down below. It's more of like a medium coverage makeup look. And I'll obviously do more in the future if you guys want color for tutorials or things like that. Let me know. I'd be more than happy to do so. But I love you guys so much. Hope you have an amazing rest of your day. And just remember that you are beautiful no matter what. With makeup, without makeup, we're all beautiful um, in our own way. We're all unique. And you're the only one of you so take pride in that i love you guys so much and i'll see you guys very soon Mwah. bye guys